Started at the help desk, previous company. I was their network admin. Uh, came in, thought I knew a whole bunch of stuff, realized I didn't know as much as I thought I did. And uh, uh, just really kind of grew with the company. So I've pretty much done every job within the company that's a technical job, from support, field, project, um, escalation. For us, it was really around uh, going faster. Technology is changing and we were finding ourselves really uh, not going as fast as we wanted and, and keeping up with the change. And having a CTO or someone in place that is looking at the market, looking at the, the direction of technology and making some decisions that shape the company. Uh, typically before that we were just going with the market listening to whether it was you know Microsoft or some of our other partners uh, and we really wanted to start leading a little bit more than following. So that was really our, our key piece to, to catalyst into CTO. I kind of always had my eye focused on leadership. I wanted to, to make sure I could influence um, not just inside the company but our clients also. Uh, working strategically with them. So I spent a lot of time on certifications, but not just certifications, technical certifications, but also looking from a business perspective, working with our leadership on a regular basis and other companies' leaderships, understanding the needs, and then again, back to the frameworks, tying those needs back to the frameworks and seeing how we could uh, advance their cause. I think when I started out, when I started with the organization almost 12 years ago, I, was, uh, I started out on the help desk. And then early on, my, my inclination around how we should do support kind of kicked in. I'd managed help desks in the past. So I worked with the team that we had. And any individual that we pulled in at that time did everything. I wanted to have a good base of technical certification. So from my background, I had done help desk management. When I came here, it was really about immersing myself back in the technology. I wanted to have a good base around what good technology looked like. So I worked on my Microsoft certifications almost immediately after coming in here. And then there was industry level certifications that we would work on too, kind of the CompTIA suite, the A+, Network+, Security+, things like that. That was kind of baseline from the technology side. On the business management side and on the leadership side, it was really around the people management. And so we focused on, we have a, it's not a proprietary tool, but it's one that's probably less known called PXT, which personality assessment and leadership by personality assessment so we can gain coaching and information after people take this test. Outside of that, we use StrengthsFinder pretty heavily so we can understand what strengths people have so we can play to that and work with them on what things that might be most appropriate for their role. For me, it was really about understanding what that looked like for me, so taking those tests myself, understanding, okay, here's where I lay, here's my strengths, so I could be a better benefit to my coworkers and to my peers and to my employees. And then afterwards, I had my staff do the same thing. They take the test, we get the results, and then we have a way to really communicate that we might not have had if we didn't know that about each other if we were continually trying to discover it. So all technicians were equal. We didn't hire for specific roles like senior technician or manager or any of that stuff. It was really just pull in a technician, teach them everything, and then just assume that it's going to be these set of robots that come out and do the same things over and over. So early on, that was something that we had to break. We had to understand that certain people were going to be better at some things, like maybe better at remote support than doing on-site support, and it was okay. And so we had to work with them, and me individually, I had to gain an understanding of which individuals were better at which roles. And so that helped with the hiring process too, and that's what kind of kick-started our growth. A part of it was we didn't hire people that were all expected to be equal anymore, expected to do the exact same thing over and over. We wanted to hire people that were better at remote support, and then we wanted to hire people who could do projects and field support. And that was kind of a catalyst from us for us on the technical side. Before that, we couldn't scale. We were just kind of stuck at the same size, same number of technicians, and if we added one, it was, all right, well, I guess we're adding more customers, but we're still doing the same job and everyone's running around. So we started to shift that so it was, you're doing this specific role, and here's the capacity we need for remote support, here's what we need for field, here's what we need for project, and we started to kind of schedule and scale and, and work in accordance with that.